Hello, odd people. Well, as we know, Neo will launch Phone 2 on Saturday. And um, uh, it is really important to understand the story with the phone. I mean, uh, Phone 1, we had enough expense with that. Now we have Phone 2. The idea of having Phone 2 will tell you that uh, we should expect Phone 3 next year, right? And Neo actually plans to make a new edition every year. So Neo decided to make the phone as uh, an essential part of Neo's ecosystem. Okay. And in the past, we used to have uh, criticism from all over the place. YouTubers who never invested a penny in Neo would come out and tell you that, uh, hey, uh, the phone, why, why the phone? That money should be in, uh, in vehicles, you know, maybe in the tires or the steering wheel or or the fridges or something uh you know it doesn't make any sense you know focus on the vehicle not not the phone and uh, even new york times i think at one time they had a big article on neo and uh, they uh, stated that neo lost so much money uh, and at the same time uh, that neo uh, um, has a phone which was a surprise especially when uh, you know, in newspaper like New York Times, uh, talk about EV company, they always compare that to Tesla. Tesla didn't uh, have a phone. So it kind of didn't make any sense for Neo to have a phone, especially for a startup company, which on the face of it, it makes perfect sense. But I made a couple videos on Neo, and uh, one of them I think titled Why the Phone and gave three reasons for that, and another one. Um, what was it? Uh, hidden gem, hidden gem. The uh, um, uh, uh, the next hidden gem is the phone, right? And uh, I know we're not gonna go back to the old videos, so I'm gonna go through that, summarize it, and tell you at least we are on the same page with this one as to why the phone. Okay. First of all. The uh, phone tool means that Neo is adopting the same process as the um, uh, battery swap technology, uh, battery swap stations. We have uh, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, and Gen 4. Now we have Phone 1 and, and, and Phone 2. Okay, so it will follow the same thing, which means that, uh, that it is a, an essential part of Neo's um, uh, you know, business right uh, ecosystem okay uh, there are actually three reasons in that video I actually listed three reasons one of them is that uh, the phone is part of the ecosystem the second one is it's a must because of the UWB the ultra wide band the third one is that news partners today could become competitors in the future these are the three reasons that I thought of. Uh, you know, of course, this is all uh, my opinion. It's never financial advice, okay? Okay, reason number one, ecosystem. Is it essential for a startup company to build such massive ecosystem, given the fact that Neo, uh, you know, uh, it has battery swap and even e-commerce, even e-commerce? Well, uh, the thing is that uh, Neo is actually building that. Neo builds this uh, uh, lifestyle uh, that is unique. And uh, part of this lifestyle is the e-commerce. And, uh, and the other one is, of course, uh, it's, a, it's a premium lifestyle uh, that, uh, that there is a market for it in China. That's what they're trying to, uh, to do. Uh, so... Uh, the, the question is, does the phone fit in the ecosystem? Well, of course it does. And, uh, and a simple way to understand that easy way is to ask ourselves the question, why Apple worked on the Titan project, which was supposed to be building its own EV brand? Why? Apple worked on the iCar, right? They worked on the project for over 10 years. They just canceled the project recently, just a few months ago, right? Why is that? That's because the EV uh, product is actually a tech product. Apple is not interested in the 
the the legacy automobile uh, apple never uh, showed interest in 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 uh, in the legacy or gasoline vehicles apple only showed interest when tesla uh, became successful in 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 launching uh, evs that uh, uh, appear to be more and more uh, uh, a tech company and so that's why apple got involved in that right so uh, so apple's ecosystem would have had the the car as part of it same thing here the same thing here for neo it is a it's a part of the ecosystem for neo for a, a car company a ev company to actually have a phone see once once you go one way you know you could you know a, a, car, a phone company having a car as part of the ecosystem is no different than a, an ev company having the phone as part of the ecosystem right the end of the day you have these two products the phone and the car in the hands of the uh, customers that's what that's that that's what it is so uh, of course and it makes sense it makes sense and probably it makes sense when you talk about ecosystem you need time to really um, see that uh, uh, materialized right ecosystem it's a big word it takes time second one is it's a must it's a must because of the uwb the ultra wide band the ultra wide band is basically uh, an advanced radio technology that would allow a vehicle to do things uh, such as uh, in the autonomy you would identify objects and you would have the information processed very quickly and you would have the precise location of the uh, of the uh, objects and things like that that uh, um, uh, was necessary for neo because when neo upgrade upgraded its the um, uh, platform from nt1 to nt2 nt2 uses uh, the uh, um, the ultra wideband technology it the ultra wideband technology becomes an, uh, a necessity and that's why the uh, some people think that um, that uh, why not make an app? Of course, app, uh, Neo has an app since day one. Neo always had an app, and uh, Neo customers actually sixty percent of Neo customers uh, have iPhones, and so you can uh, activate your car and do some uh, you know some functionalities there uh, using the app, but it's limited, right? But when it came to the ultra wide band, Neo needed permission from Apple to to open that uh, uh, you know technology, and I think there was a, a time when Apple resisted, and that was the time when Neo decided to proceed with its own phone. See, this is the thing, you know, when you need permission to uh, uh, to do something, uh, that means your your um, horizon for uh, uh, advancement is now locked you know and that new said no we're not gonna accept that and that's the reason that's a reason okay uh, so uh, that's reason number two uh, reason number three is the your uh, partner today could become your competitor tomorrow that's for Neo and uh, of course just look at you know who is competing against Neo now you have Huawei competing against Neo, and you have uh, Zomi or whatever. These tech companies that Neo had partnerships with in the past, they are actually now competing. So, uh, so what do you do? You have to. You they come and uh, and uh, they are taking your product and they adding your product to to their ecosystem. You gotta do the same thing. So these, these things find it necessary. I think any company, EV company, and I think it's, it's uh, necessary for Tesla to have, uh, to have a phone too. It's really necessary. Otherwise, Tesla would be, uh, you know, uh, under the mercy of uh, Apple or Google or whoever to, to um, you know, give uh, Tesla's customers permission at some point at some point so 
it, I think it's necessary, and uh, and these are the reasons what I, uh, that I thought of. The other one is I think that this is turning out to be a beautiful addition to news uh, ecosystem or news uh, business model. Uh, I think that the activities of NEO lately by uh, providing the phone for free uh, as a discount uh, really shows that NEO is doing the same thing as they did with the battery swap. Battery swap in the initial launch, they offered it for free. For life, actually. You can, can you imagine? Go back to, to back 2018, you would see. Uh, Neo offered free battery swap for life and uh, to encourage customers to buy Neo and use the battery swap because of the fact that Neo wanted to, uh, uh, to, to use the data for the battery swap and improve it. So actually, it became every single customer who signed up uh, for that became a data point in Neo system. And that's how Neo used that data to improve from Gen 1 to Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, and, uh, and, it, and also made it, uh, you know, um, you know uh, acceptable as by customers to, to use it. When you see customers use battery swap, you would, you would be encouraged. So anyways, and, and, and we can see the data today. And I've, I've done analysis actually on the battery swap data and showed that what we see today in a single month, uh, new, it took new like years, like more than three years or something to, and it, it's unbelievable the, 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 the progress. So I think that the, the uh, um, newest phone could be the next hidden gem for many reasons. One of them is that, uh, you know, as Neo engages the offering of the phone more and more with the customers, uh, that more customers would see that, you know, friends and family members and so on, and they can see the, the value of it. That's one thing. The second thing is actually uh, the sub-brand. Uh, this would be applicable, of course, to the sub-brand, Anvo and Firefly. It's the same company. So having the phone, you have all these functionalities that go with the phone. Um, so then now we're talking about a much bigger volume of uh, phone than just, uh, just a Neo. So you have Neo and, and Envo and, and Firefly, right? And uh, so, uh, and of course, you have the partnerships on battery swap. Uh, all these partners will uh, potentially, they could potentially be customers as well for, for, uh, for the phone. So these are the things uh, to look for. And uh, we all know that the phone uh, has, uh, uh, um, at least for phone one, had more than 35 functionalities. You could not have that with the, with the app. App has something like 10 or so. Uh, functions and uh, and the phone itself has uh, has uh, more than 35 so there's a lot more use for the phone than than for an app and and there you go you now you have a product that is kind of compelling to have and when you see that for free and who doesn't who doesn't like that so this is where we stand this is why i think this item is essential and i think it will turn out to be beautiful uh, addition to news business model, and uh, just as uh, so many uh, naysayers uh, talked about news battery swap as a waste of money, they also talked about uh, the about the the phone as a waste of money. But it is not. It is not, and uh, and perhaps the. Um, the brand is picking up, or Neo is actually picking up deliveries. Deliveries, part of it is because of uh, the fact that Neo's brand is becoming more and more known through battery swap, through seeing Neo's logos all over, something like that, right? So, anyways, that's what I think of the phone. Let me know if you think otherwise, and uh, never financial advice. Thank you. Bye bye.